Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is about the HP Chromebook X360 14 that I bought off of eBay. This was probably three, four months, four months ago. So now, so we're gonna go over it real quick. How much it cost? Um, what we got all into it, and how it's looking today. If you guys remember this machine, it was heavily damaged when we got it. The whole LCD panel was damaged as well as we were missing a key. The sides, especially the corners, were heavily worn. As you can see now, that's not the case and what's going on. I figured I'd make a quick little conclusion video. I can't remember if I made one about this laptop or not, but we're gonna go over specs, how much it costs, um, and how the final project is. We'll also cover the custom firmware installation. Not in depth, but I'll tell you guys what I did and how I got it to this state, but here you go. If you want a cheap laptop, um, a simple solution may be just to buy a Chromebook and flash the firmware on it to run a custom firmware that allows you to download any um, OS that you want. So we're gonna go over that real quick and tell you what the process is. All right, so the firmware on here, it runs off a of core boot, which there's, I guess you'd call it a fork made by Mr. Chromebox. And he writes the firmware specifically for these uh, Chrome devices, so you can boot any type of OS you want on there. So for example, I've had a Windows 10, I've had a Windows 11, I've had Windows 10 Atlas, I've had Linux on here. I think the flavors of Linux, Mint, and Ubuntu. So I kind of, I've had everything on here. Um, currently I'm running Windows because I like to play Pokemon games. And I find they run best in a Windows environment. So basically you'll get greeted when you power it on to the little bunny there. And then basically this is a uh, uh, firmware which allows you to uh, boot in the thing. So as you can see here, we got four gigs of RAM. This is a Celeron N4020 at 1.1. It boosts up to 2.7 if I remember right. So it's only a dual core machine, but for what it is, it's pretty snappy, I will admit. Obviously this isn't a powerhouse, you know, you're not gonna do heavy duty gaming on here, but you can do light gaming and um, browsing the web and watching videos and stuff. But here's like a few of the boot things. So obviously here, I must have cleared it at some point, but we have the Windows Boot Manager, Boot 2. These are basically registered, um, what's been registered on the hard drive at some point. You also go into boot manager and boot off a USB. So if you want to do that, you can. Uh, there's also a device um, manager list, which allows you to configure secure boot. Um, I haven't went into setting this up yet. So obviously it's in standard mode. I think this was um, a new feature with this um, firmware update 4.20 as you can see up there that's when I updated it so recently but okay we'll go over into the cost next and how much I paid for this thing here we'll go ahead and I'll just do a reboot real quick and show you guys how quick this is to boot For what it is, it's pretty decent. All right, we're gonna go into the cost next on how much I paid for this machine. You guys will probably be pretty shocked. All right, so I have a quick, all right, so I have a quick breakdown right here real quick. So this is a model number in case you guys are interested. Um, I bought this in a lot of four laptops, any uh, repairs or anything in general. So total cost for that lot was $41.45. There was four damaged laptops in there. So it was $10 and some change per laptop. 
um, determined our needs where we need a keyboard, we need a display, and then we need a bezel for the, the display as well. I searched eBay. We bought a parts machine for $44.51. Um, we sold the left, the parts machine's motherboard as well as top cover, all that. That was $27.77. So total in for just this laptop alone, we're less than $30. So I think that's a pretty good deal, especially for something that's so nice and you just bum around with. Um, a lot of people hate on these Chromebooks, but the little, the little powerhouses for what they are, they're not like state of the art, obviously, but they get the job done. The only drawback I've had with this setup is the machine that I did purchase came with an SD card slot. This motherboard that's in here does not have SD card slot, so I have it covered up. Eventually we'll want to get a blank plate to put in there. I might be able to print something off on a 3D printer and put it in place, but for what it is, it's pretty good. We'll go over the specs here real quick too, just a little recap of what Windows is reporting. So this is a Celeron N4020. 4 gigs of RAM. It's pretty decent for what it is. Uh, I like it. But anyway, I figured I'd go over a little quick video on this. Include this uh, pair, um, series, I guess you want to say, about that um, cheap Chrome or cheap laptop lot that I bought a few months back. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, we don't have any current projects out there right now. Eventually, I do want to get into building a PC, so I'll probably put that on the channel too, but that's it for now. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later.